We are coming to you live from Steeltown, Pennsylvania at the sold-out Three Mile Island Stadium. There's nothing quite like playing in the scenic toxic nuclear waste dump. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The insane Colts go up against the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grin Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you along with my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? Well, I'm doing that little hottie who works at Deep Fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> with the brain scrambler. Second down the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak to the manager. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Oh, now. You know what they say, Grim? Step on a crack, break your mother's back. Step on a mine. Yeah, I don't know either, but scratch another player from the roster because he stepped on a mine and exploded his spine. He's at the 10. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand folks a shot there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden the Ant Smiler. Did the shot treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and Zapter, they never bothered her again. So yeah, I guess it worked for her. And it's first and ten. Another 
pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more reception. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. And he's running like a moose. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Second down and more offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. for a big game. Like some pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Uh, oh, and pickles. I have pickles. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a re He's got the ball now and is going to... Oh, what the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. yards on a strong run with the vicious kill did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25 i didn't know that yeah right below attending bachelor parties and owning a sam schlong galaxy phone sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Second down and two. And that player just transformed, and then he charged the ball loose, and it's a fumble! That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Here comes the defense. The 30. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, I like this damn it happens to a lot of guys, Graham. Uh, at least that's what I hear. Bricks, you can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. It just slows the game down. And they line up. 
up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The kicker died on that play. Now that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Second down in a very lot. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. It's a touchdown! He deserves to celebrate like that after such a hard drive. Oh, I'm killing myself here. Hey, what did I say about puns? And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. misery and says who's next one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the line turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel but he knocked me in the burn returner was killed on that play the coach will replace him with another player and it's first and ten I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... Oh, he got mugged! More like a mafia hit. And it's first and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know what? My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rex. Very smart. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and ten. And like Rex's balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking oh, of holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. And the defense 
gets another pick. Man, rough day. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Uh, did you just say greatest hits? Where? Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. <laughs> They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> first down and forever. Another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a boom and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo grip. The offense has it. That was a close one. Boom. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. Bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. <laughs> He's supercharged. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and four. Playing some D. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. And that kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Destruction in his path. Oh, that's huge. Looks like the defense has it. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. He'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's 
First and ten. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And get the kicker's job in half? They just be cool. It's good. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. They call the warp speed dirty trick. He's so fast he watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Second down in a lot. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Goal! You ever do that again, Bricks? I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. Bingo, 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 bingo. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And the defense was ready for that bomb's way dirty trick that time. Second down and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit! And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Third down and eight. Hot, hot one, hot two. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to fluff it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Point with multiple interceptions. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And he punched his way out of it. Man, what a hit that was. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, it 
That's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and ten. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and ten. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I pictured that, uh, that well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. Marker breaks. Yeah. Looks like this one's coming back. And it's first and ten. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't. Care. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. Optimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Ah. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brick and that girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it Brick. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, the defender just knocked the ball loose. No, that'll wake you up, then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Uh, unless you're in a sleeping contest. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. You gotta love it.
love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Touchdown! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull Clap and Vodka Jello shot day. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Whoa, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Can't that line the way a Republican con? Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Yeah, the old broke back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of mutant, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. And it's first and ten. This guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down is more than the QB would like. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his pack. Mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Third down, and well, good luck. Look at the path he's taking up, and that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Uh, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. in his path. It's better to be lucky. And they needed that big run right there, Bricks. They should have fucking did. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, and the funeral expenses, that is. 
and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, "Who's next?" And he finds open spaces, running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. If they don't pick it up, the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And he breaks away. And he's off to the races. The 20. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah. Didn't work that time. It was close, though. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Turner was made by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. That's the 
way to keep the chains moving. That was... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First down and five. play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Ben. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that. And another interception. He could go all the way. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a soft lock right on this asshole. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Well, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, I'm talking about points. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Look at that little mutant run! Uh, I don't think you can 
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? They kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called Snake Gills right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, he just got popped big time. Oh, my God. I thought his head was going to pop off like a big zit. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he drops one again. You know, good communication is important. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting a snot kick on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Ah, uh, don't worry, that's coming. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. him going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever and it's first and ten boom and like the titanic his ship just went down hey hey i almost got that mutant beat. 77 to bite it. Second down in a lot. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like you're... And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. The playing dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. The Blitzburg Steelheads decimate the opposition today and win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm -hmm. Good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...